Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss with the unit number two part that is mechanisms, basics of mechanism, and applications of few mechanism, which are very important for final exam as well as MCQ that is multiple choice question in phase one exam. So we start with the basics. What is the meaning of kinematic link? Because link is the basic element of mechanism. So we just start with basic link so how we can define the link a mechanism is made up of number of resistant bodies so normally the question may arise in mcq what is the meaning of uh, or mechanisms or the links are which type of bodies so you should know the mechanism is normally consist of resistant bodies out of which may some links or some elements they may have relative motion to each other so logically when I am saying a mechanism which they are having a relative motion between them so definition of a kinematic link is a resistant body or group of resistant bodies means it may be a single resistant body I am talking about single link or a group of resistant bodies with a rigid connection so you should remember that's a rigid resistant bodies which preventing their relative moment is uh, known as a link and link also known as a kinematic element or kinematic link so resistant bodies or rigid connections between them prevents the relative movement is known as link so classification of links as binary ternary and quaternary depending upon their nodes so as logical diagrams binary when I am having the two nodes so at this end I can connect one more here one more link hence the name binary link ternary link because I can have here three nodes so here I can say the ternary and accordingly quaternary for the four nodes here the classifications so basic definitions of kinematic link it's a rigid resistant bodies or the rigid connection between the resistant bodies that's I can see the element as kinematic element or kinematic link classifications binary ternary and quaternary as here you can see the all three diagrams so next one basics once you know what is the kinematic link so by connecting different kinematic links together we, which we transmit the corresponding relative motion when we connect two or more lengths together the joint form is called as a pair as a simple meaning of a pair so kinematic pair a kinematic pair is a simply joint or a pair of a two lengths having relative motion between them so here you can see in this animation one ternary link c d e is connected to two other lengths that is a D and BC as are the two different links whereas AB is a fixed link and you can observe there is some curve is stressed by point E so that's a simple animations here you can see where to know what is the meaning of kinematic pair so kinematic pair is a joint of two links that's it now very important part we are discussing now that is classifications of kinematic pairs so there are two types of basic classification the first classification which depends on nature of contact so accordingly we have a classification lower pair and higher pair so when I'm talking the kinematic pairs are having lower contact so what is the meaning of it lower pair means when the two lengths having surface or area contact so as suggest by a simple example nut turning on a screw shaft rotate in a bearing or universal joint all these are example of lower pair because in all these examples we see the contact between these elements are surface contact when shaft rotate in the bearing there is a surface contact so this is an example of lower pair and multiple choice question you will get the diagrams of bearing or diagrams of shaft rotating in bearing and the question will be identify which type of kinematic pair it is so it is whether lower pair higher pair or any other options so you should know when there is a surface 
area contact the corresponding kinematic pair is lower pair and completely against or opposite to this will be higher pair where in case of higher pair the contact nature is point or line contact and the example very important as all the gears are having point or line contacts so gears are the example of higher pair similarly all the ball bearings when I am talking about only bearing that means the contact between the ball and the rolling element means rolling element and the corresponding races so examples this gears on all the ball bearing roller bearings they are example of higher pair because they are having point or line contacts even the rolling contact for roller contact bearings so this classification is very important that is lower pair and higher pair depending upon the nature of contact that is surface contact area contact and line or point contact another classification kinematic pairs are classified in another way that is depends on their relative motion so depend on their relative motions sliding pair as name suggests very simple to understand sliding pair turning pair and rolling pair so when I have a sliding contact that is sliding of two elements kinematic lengths whereas turning turning of two joint of two lengths and rolling rolling over the surface so this kind of example can discuss this animation this classification with animation in next slide so this two classification are important nature depending on the nature and depending on nature of relative motion that is sliding pair turning pair and rolling pair next part is kinematic chain so what is basically meaning of a chain chain is simply a assembly of lengths which is the relative motion of the lengths which can possibly transmit the motion that means kinematic chain is just assembly or assembly of all the lengths together which may have or which may have a corresponding relative motion which is in the definite direction or I can say if there is an indefinite motion of other link it is a non kinematic chain so kinematic chain in simple language kinematic chain is simply assembly of all links together and its corresponding relative motion of all that links together can provide you the relative motion in definite direction that's it now we learn kinematic links, kinematic pair, classification and what is kinematic chain. But is it a kinematic chain which transmit the motion in real machines? So the answer is no because we require a mechanism which is actually able to transmit the corresponding relative motions. So the kinematic chains as mentioned some example or types, 4 bar chain that is a 4 as a quadric cycle single slider crank and the double slider crank so we'll be discussing out of which four bar and single slider crank mechanism and the slides so before going with this just basic stuff again few diagrams of types of pairs so the first you can see a revolute second is a prismatic here you can observe the the movement of these two kinematic lengths so here you see the prismatic is this bar is moving inside this rectangular slot so we can say it is having one degree of freedom another is the screw is moving spherical cylindrical and this is a planar so here this cylindrical disc this disc is having two motions one is linear and one other is a rotational hence I can say it is having two degree of freedom spherical as logical three degrees of freedom in all three directions whereas here planar is having two translational motion in this direction in this direction as well as one in the rotational direction so what is the meaning of degree of freedom degree of freedom is minimum number of parameters or minimum number of motions are required to specify the object motion so here in revolute you can specify in one direction this similarly here one translational motion hence we can say the degree of freedom is the number of parameters 
which specifies the object complete motion so that's degree of freedom as discuss this all three animations of previous kinematic chair kinematic pair examples so here you can observe the piston and cylinder animation so it is a type of sliding contact here So this diagram indicates a piston is sliding inside the cylinder. So I can say this is which type of pair? So it is a sliding pair. But along with this, I know there is a surface contact, and when there is a surface contact, it is which type of pair? It is lower pair. So MCQ may be the question is they will give you this animation and to identify which type of pair it is so it is sliding pair as well as as there is a surface contact it is an example of lower pair so yes you can observe this revolute pair sliding pair and the screw is turning on this cylindrical object now once we discuss all basics of mechanism or fundamentals of mechanism what is basically mechanism or a four bar mechanism four bar as we have a four links that's it the mechanism so definition of mechanism is when we have a kinematic chain that is assembly of linkage together and which may transmit the definite motion in that kinematic chain if we fix any one link it transmit a relative motion and that arrangement is called as mechanism so in simple one mechanism is a kinematic chain in which we are fixing any one link for transmitting a relative motion so by fixing any one link in a kinematic chain arrangement form is called as a mechanism so here you can observe this link is fixed the link number one you can say this is fixed this link is fixed here and this is link number two link number three and link number four so the normally this four bar mechanism when we have four links connected together by fixing this one link we can transmit the relative motion then normally the link number two here you can see so when the question arises or question may comes draw a four bar sketch so what you need to draw a schematic self explanatory sketch of four bar mechanism so this is link number 2 which can be represented as crank called as the shortest link crank so which rotates completely whereas this one link number 4 it's called as lever or it is also called as rocker link number 3 it is uh, connecting a link number 2 and 4 or i can say a link number 3 is a coupler so normally it is called as coupler which is having oscillatory motions so and lever may have partial motion or it may have a complete motion partial rotary motion so when I am talking about the four bar mechanism just draw a simple sketch of four links connected together of different lengths by fixing any one link arrangement forms its a mechanism Link number 2 as here is a crank which rotates. Link number 3 is a coupling or it is a coupler. Connects link number 2 and 4 so I call as this a coupler. And the link number 4 which is a lever or a rocker which is a having a relative motion compared with the link number 2 and 3. So one of the most useful and the common mechanism is this four bar linkage and in this link uh, the link which can have a complete rotary that is as we discussed crank link number two and the link which oscillates is a rocker or lever so as I discussed maybe partial or oscillatory motion and the connecting link is called as a coupler and by a basic definition of mechanism by fixing any one link in a kinematic chain arrangement called form is called as mechanism. So accordingly we may have n number of mechanism from same kinematic chain. 
so yes the next topic is what is the meaning of inversion so this is four bar mechanism so here you can observe this two different animations which indicates there is some relative motion between the links so the first animation topmost animation where the one link is frame frame which is a supporting or stationary object it is connected with the smaller link you can observe the previous explanation as a crank oscillator or that coupler and rocker just compare with this so kind of animations you will get for exam second diagram is for slider crank mechanism so here you can observe the motions of this slider and i can say this is a slider crank this one is a crank and this one is a slider so slider crank mechanism this crank is having complete rotary motion and the slider is having or the piston which may call it a piston cylinder arrangement which is having sliding motion so you observe this these are the mechanisms like slider crank mechanism so in slider crank mechanism we have crank which complete rotary motion piston which is sliding contact or sliding motion and this two elements crank and pistons are connected with element called as connecting rod so this element is called as this is connecting rod which connecting the crank and piston and which is having oscillatory motions in case of slider crank mechanism we have one sliding pair which is between the piston and the cylinder whereas another three are turning pair so we have three turning pair and one sliding pair for single slider crank mechanism same here again you can observe the meaning of slider crank mechanism so what kind of question you may get is is this first what is this this part is a crank which is having complete rotary motion you can observe this one is connecting rod this connecting rod connects the piston and the crank piston is having sliding contact or it is also called the slider so this is a sliding moment and this one is a fixed stationary part called as cylinder so here we have four elements piston cylinder connecting rod and the crank crank is having complete rotary motion connecting rod is having oscillatory motion whereas pistons are having sliding motion so that pistons are having sliding motion so you can the piston can slide and the cylinder is fixed one so the link number 1 you can say this is cylinder which is fixed piston which is sliding and crank is complete rotary motion the last part of a mechanism is what is the meaning of inversions basic definition of mechanism is by fixing any one link in a kinematic chain arrangement formed is called as mechanism so if we have four links by fixing different links we can obtain different mechanisms and that different arrangements are called as inversions so as in four bar we have four links so if i fix link number 1 we get a mechanism then by changing the link number 2 3 4 as fixed link we can get three different mechanisms and they are called as inversions so inversions are the different mechanisms obtained from a same kinematic chain by fixing different kinematic links in a same different kinematic links so that arrangement is called as inversions so that is a single slider crank mechanism so you observe the same motions so this four bar mechanism and slider crank mechanisms are very important and i hope this animations and basics are useful for you for exam thank you